From Euphoria to Spider-Man to Dune, everyone's keeping up with Zendaya. But aren't you curious about the very different career she almost had? What about her favorite film franchise? Keep watching to find out all of these deets and more. Animals have always held a special place in Zendaya's heart. In fact, she still remembers the exact moment she found out where meat comes from. It was that very day that the performer decided to become a vegetarian. However, it wasn't easy for the then 11-year-old. The very first week she gave up meat, she had recurring dreams about hamburgers falling from the sky. She told People, And I still remember the dream so clearly. It's just a dream. It's normal, right? Luckily, these nightmares eventually ended, and the actor has remained a vegetarian ever since. There was one time, however, when the actor was asked to eat meat. While Zendaya starred as Rocky on her first television show, Shake It Up, one episode revolved around meatballs. This was something she simply couldn't stomach, literally. She explained during an interview with PETA how she spoke to the show's writers, and they all decided to make Rocky vegetarian as well. <laughs> Not today or not! <laughs> the switch certainly made these meaty scenes much easier for her to handle. Though Zendaya has always been able to stick to her vegetarian lifestyle, it still isn't so easy sometimes, as she told Us Weekly. I am a vegetarian who doesn't like vegetables too much. Makes it challenging. Since both of Zendaya's parents are teachers, school seems like something this actor should have easily aced. However, that wasn't always the case. She admitted to Us Weekly, I did kindergarten twice, but it's not for the reason you may think. Reciting the ABCs was no sweat for young Zendaya, but when it came time for social interaction, Zendaya wasn't comfortable around the other kindergarten kids. To help get her out of her comfort zone, her mother told Vogue that she had to repeat the grade. Crazy enough, even to this day, Zendaya seems to like to spend time alone. I'm a very shy, introverted person. It's hard to believe when you're watching her act on screen. Even when the young actor initially broke into show business, she had to work hard on opening up off-screen. She explained to GQ, "...in this industry, I had to learn how to do small talk and stuff, because I guess I would kind of come off cold to people because I didn't really know how to start conversation." It definitely doesn't seem like a problem for her now. <clears throat> I understand, okay? Sure, we've all seen Zendaya moving and grooving on the Disney Channel Shake It Up, yet many fans may not know that she was once a backup dancer for another famous star from the Kids Network. Way back in 2009, Zendaya showed off her dance moves in a Sears commercial, which starred Selena Gomez. Zendaya later told J14, "...that's a funny commercial because it's so weird to think that later on, Ross Lynch was in it, Leo Howard was in it, and we were backup dancers. We weren't even the lead kids. It's funny where things evolve from, and it's cool to start small." Speaking of small, she started dancing when she was quite small, too. Zendaya got her start at the age of eight in a hip-hop group called Future Shock Oakland. She told Dream Magazine, "...after that, I did hula. Random, I know. But hip-hop is definitely my strong suit." Zendaya fell in love with acting at a very young age, and her stage name was something that came easily to her. Obviously, everyone knows her first name, but not many know her last. She shared in a video by I Am An Immigrant her full name. I was born Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman. Explaining her reasoning of her stage name, she told Allure, "...I dropped my last name because I just thought it was cool, like Cher or Prince." Looks like she was always destined for show business. In an interview with Popstar, the actor explained the origin of her unique name. It turns out, Zendaya is a combination of both her parents' heritages. The name is derived from an African word meaning to give thanks that was slightly changed to also honor her mother's German background. Behind the scenes, though, as she told Glamour, everyone, quote, calls me Dea. Many young kids aren't necessarily into Shakespeare, but his plays are actually what made Zendaya start thinking seriously about acting. That's because throughout nearly her entire childhood, her mother worked at the California Shakespeare Theater in Oakland, California. During every show, her young daughter would sit in the back row with her snacks as she watched in awe what was happening on stage. She told People, "...I was like, I love this. I don't know what they're doing, but like, I want to do that. I want to be up there." And that was when the acting bug bit her, and hard. When it came time to try out for her very first production, Zendaya even landed her first stage role in a Shakespearean classic. She told Us Weekly, "...my first part in a play was one of the witches in Macbeth." Zendaya may be a dancer, singer, and actor, but in 2019, she became more than just a triple threat when she added fashion designer to her long list of accomplishments. It was that year that Tommy Hilfiger personally asked the 22-year-old to design a collection with him. She told In Style, "...he promised me that I would be able to be as creative as I wanted and truly execute my vision, whatever that vision may be, down to the font on the packaging." Their fall collection, appropriately called Tommy X Zendaya, consisted of classic pieces in true Hilfiger fashion, with vintage-inspired clothing items as well. Though the young actor wasn't born until the 90s, many pieces even gave a nod to a much different decade, the 70s, which Zendaya designed herself. She explained to USA Today, "...I've always been inspired by the effortless glamour of all of it." 
Long before she was ever interested in acting, Zendaya had a much different passion she wanted to pursue. She admitted to the Bay State Banner, I was actually supposed to be a basketball player, not an actress. In fact, she had been playing the sport competitively since kindergarten, up until she booked a spot on the Disney Channel. Growing up, Zendaya's parents always encouraged her to play basketball. Both of them played the sport as kids. Her mother is way over six feet tall, and Zendaya is quite tall herself. As a family, they even did a competitive camp every summer together. In addition, Zendaya told Essence, My dad was my PE teacher, so I definitely didn't have a break because his classroom was the gym at the school. While her parents had always hoped she would end up in the NBA, the young actor eventually realized there was something else entirely that she wanted to do with her life. She shared with Essence, I was over it. I was like, this is not for me. I want to go play on the stage. I want to act. We all know how this story ends. Like many of us muggles, Zendaya's favorite way to unwind after a busy day is to turn on her favorite film. Her go-to is one she's seen a million times, too. She admitted to InStyle, People say I'm crazy, but I watch Harry Potter like once a day. It's just calming to me. She turns to the magical series most often after an extremely emotional day on set. For example, anyone who's watched Zendaya and Euphoria can only imagine how intense her workdays are, and the role has had a big effect on her personally. That's when all the movies about the boy who lived life as a young wizard were constantly on repeat in her house. She explains in another interview with InStyle, I used to watch them to get through the first season of Euphoria. And if you're not a fan of the franchise, don't expect an invitation over to Zendaya's house either, because as she joked to the magazine, Harry Potter's going to be on. Harry will, won't you? Yeah, every week. <laughs> <laughs> Way before Zendaya ever appeared on the Disney Channel, you may have seen her dancing in a Kids Bop music video for Katy Perry's single Hot and Cold. Yet, while we all know that Zendaya has some serious skills when it comes to singing, it wasn't actually her singing in the video, according to what she told Fashion Magazine. Zendaya was hired to be strictly one of the dancers on set. It seems as though all of the kids' cast were some of the best in the business, too. Surprisingly, Zendaya was extremely nervous to move and groove alongside them, especially since it was one of her very first gigs. To try and top their talent, she explained, I decided to do a front flip. Never did one before in my life, other than inside my living room playing around. Thank God I landed it. It could have been terrible. For being in an industry that's all about the glitz and glamour, Zendaya isn't all about it when it comes to acting. When she was cast as Michelle in her first movie, Spider-Man Homecoming, it didn't make any sense to her why a young teenager would be wearing makeup. She told Variety, When I was 15, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup in school. Because of that, she didn't wear any at all to her audition. Funny enough, director John Watts didn't even recognize her. He told Vogue that without being all glammed up, she looked like a completely different person. Audiences everywhere have loved Zendaya as the sarcastic character, and she's truly enjoyed playing her. He didn't tell me. I figured it out. Oh. That's cool. Like a long time ago. She told The Hollywood Reporter, I also like that I don't really have to do anything for hair and makeup. I just get to walk in and walk out. That may just be the best job in the business. Zendaya may be her dog Noon's number one fan, but it turns out this miniature schnauzer has thousands of them who follow him on Twitter and Instagram. Today, he has over 3,000 Twitter followers. And as he says in his Instagram bio, quote, Wolfplexity is key. The actor adopted the puppy in 2015, and he lives just as much of an incredible lifestyle as his owner. He's had the pleasure of meeting the famous dog whisperer, Caesar Milan, and even boarded his first private jet back in 2017, something a lot of us humans have never had the pleasure of doing. While his online presence may not come as too much of a shock, it may be quite unexpected that Zendaya isn't the one posting. Surprisingly, ready, ready, I don't run it! We'd assume it was Noon himself, but you know, he doesn't have thumbs. Celebrities have access to the very best makeup artists in the business. Zendaya, on the other hand, likes to do her own makeup for events. Why? She told Vogue, <laughs> I've had so many makeup horror stories, and I've had so many makeup artists in my past. One of the worst situations has been not having makeup that matches her skin tone. As she told Birdie, I would be orange. However, it hasn't all been bad. After working with various makeup artists, Zendaya has learned a few tricks of the trade. Between that and YouTube, she quickly figured out how to perfect her own makeup and taught herself how to do everything from contouring to creating the perfect cat eye. While Zendaya has always looked effortless on and off the red carpet, her beauty advice may be even more inspiring. She further told Birdie, I would say my beauty philosophy is that there are no rules. Fans can all agree that Zendaya is incredible in Euphoria, and the rest of the world took notice in 2020. That year, the 24-year-old became the youngest person to win an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. Though it was a well-deserved award, the actor herself was in awe of her accomplishments. She even kept the trophy in her bed when she went to sleep that night. She told GQ, Not even gonna lie, it was just nice to roll over and see her. She was pretty, just beautiful, glowing. 
As she accepted the award virtually, alongside her family and friends, Zendaya seemed to be at a complete loss for words, though she did get out. I just want to say that there is hope in the young people out there. Thanks to her, it certainly seems like it. After all, Zendaya herself is just getting started. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.